Now, Space Combat is what enthralled me with this. I, I never played EVE Online, so I don't know how it plays. But with this, with your weapons, with your fore and aft, you it depends on the radius of your attack. Because, as you see, the eye can actually shoot both of my phasers when I'm to the side of it. That's because my phasers actually have... Can shoot anything beside, uh, anything in front, all the way around to the sides, but nothing behind me. So uh, that's that's my four phaser. The one in the back can shoot everything behind me and to the left and right, but nothing in front. So you kind of want to uh, you want to pay attention to your weapon it upgrades later down the road. Of course, I'm going to get into it a little bit more in depth when I get there, but you're going to pretty much uh, get, you want to do your weapons where you have a front and a back and possibly one that intertwines the side because once one of your shields goes down, you need to turn and try to go to another, to another shield so you don't take direct hole damage. Okay? A uh, large number of Borgs are transporting down to the Vega Colony. My team is pinned down. They need help. So, oh, cool. So now we're going to choose, I already chose my way because I only have one duty officer, so she's coming with me. So we're heading down to the Vega Colony to show you more ground combat. Please don't hate the ground combat too much. And I'm trying to stress that as much. The ground combat, when I remember it, was horrible. It's a hot key MMO, there's no real action or movement to it. You're kind, you feel kind of stiff. So here's the situation, the Borg are attempting to get a foothold here, but they need to be rounding up co uh, colonists, not assimilate them immediately. I don't know what they're acting this way, but I know we need to resolve the colon resolve this. We're barely holding them, here to protect them. Okay, so I gotta talk to someone about kits. So we're about to understand what kits are. And if my voice sounds horrible, I'm sorry I've been talking all day and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the fluids in. Alright, kits in general. Let's talk here. Click it. Kit is a term that covers special equipment, tools, and even some techniques used by the Federation officers. There are many different types of kits available, and each has its own ability. Engineering, science, and tactical fields all have kits that are unique to them. Pretty much, tactical can only use tactical. Use that. Remember that. When you equip the kit, the icon on the kit's power will appear in your action bar. You can activate it from there or use it appropriate. More advanced kits have multiple abilities too. Equipment from different kits and powers to find ones that work best for you. Neat. Equipping kits. You equip it, hit you and your inventory, and boom, you're done. There you go. So let's choose the equipment. We're actually getting our first kit. And I also get a new weapon. I get the phaser sniper rifle. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our inventory. Inventory. Oh god, I suck playing games. I am not. Hurry up and click it. There we go. Oh yay! Get to click it. I'm gonna equip it. You can tell the difference because I got this belt on. Oh look, now that I'm equipped. It's time for you to head into the city. I don't want to go in there. There are Borg. I know Borg. All right. My buddy Keith got taken by a board. Alright, he was not the same. Not the same. He was like a robot. And that's what Borgs are, the robots. Sorry, I get a little excited. But now that I have now oh, look I'm testing Crouch, because I'm trying to open up my I'm trying to open up my character screen, because now I'm trying to actually work with my skills. Now that I'm here. There's the equipment, that's what all the status looks like. And, and I've Photon grenade tactical kit. So now I actually have, uh, I can throw a photon grenade. Pretty cool. Uh, of course, I have my beam pistol, but now I have my secondary weapon, which was my sniper rifle. Need to use my skills. Skills you have, you have your space skills, which is tactical, engineering, and in science and operations. Ground for tactical officers, you get your ground skills. Either you're t with, whether or not you're tactical, science, or engineering, you're going you're gonna to have the same access to space skills across the board. Everybody has the same. 
when it comes to the ground, everyone's is different. So remember that. With bridge officers as well. Bridge officers are, some will have the same exact we uh, abilities like this photon grenade uh, and a high torpedo for, uh, photon grenade for ground and then uh, torpedo yield for space. They'll have the same ones like that. Other tactical officers are going to have different abilities. They might have something else besides photon grenade. They will. Different tactical duty officers will have something different. Science and engineering go the same way. It's it's how they roll. So, uh, so just understand that when you're trying to build your away team, you may have like five different tactical officers, but your five different tactical officers will have may have different abilities, so they have strengths and weaknesses type of thing. So let's go ahead and run in here with our uberness that we are uh, this is pretty much yeah yay for that this right here is the ground combat you click on something I have the sniper rifle so I'm actually going to use my elongated sniper charge and shoot it and then just use my bullet now because I have my kit with me as well I have the ability of photon grenade just like my bridge officer does Photon Grenade is an AoE attack and does pretty darn nice damage, if I have to say, even for an Ensign. So, for those who have played this game before when it first came out, yeah, the ground combat seems almost the same, I have to say. I'm not seeing any difference. Apparently, in, the, in Season 4, they brought out this whole new aspect of it, and I'm just not seeing it. It's it may seem a little bit more fluid but I still feel the stiffness of the character they're just standing there shooting something that's all I got I don't understand anything more than that uh, so now we gotta go shut down a Borg device uh, let's just go do the Borg device thing I don't care now if you're now you can tell your off your duty officers what to do meaning that they can either defend or they can heal you, or they can just throw items. Everything is done in the party screen over here, underneath your screen. I like that. Pressing the V button you, brings out your tricorder, and you can actually, it sh tells you the direction where you need to go. It also scans for anomalies, which are done for crafting. Which I'll even, I'll, I think I can just make a whole video just for crafting, because geez, crafting is almost ridiculous. So yeah, this is ground combat. I never liked it. I hated missions who, that required me to have a ground combat. I love space. Space is fun. Especially when you die. God, especially when you die. <laughs> I like opening it up with a little photon grenade. Now this is my first tactical person. My first tactical character I've ever made. My main is a... Uh, is a gray 25 yeah I think it's a gray 25 lieutenant commander and I can tell you right now leveling in this thing there are no there's no experience there's skill points and then there's bridge skill points your bridge skill points go for your bridge officers your skill points equal out to what you gain and what you use I will try to explain as much as possible. I'm actually going to read off what the beginner's guide actually says from the STO wiki. Let me actually find it. Alright. You guys can read whatever's going on here, but just try to listen, okay? In order to advance to the next rank, players must spend a set number of skill points before being promoted. Furthermore, a new tier of starships are opened up to each rank. However, in order to advance through the grades 1 through 10 within a rank, players must earn must earn uh, your skill points. So, this is what it's trying to say. To go up in grade, which is the blue bar, I believe, up top, all the way up top. The blue, yeah, those blue bars up there, yeah. Those are your grades. I'm, I'm going to have to actually probably re uh, realize this in the second video, but I'm trying to make sure I'm understanding this. 
That is your grades. Your rank... No, that doesn't even sound right. I th No, rank is the blue bars. Sorry if this is really confusing, but I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to learn this myself. Because it was the one thing that always... <laughs> it always confused me uh, playing this game while I was playing it the first time. So, okay, actually, no, the blue bars up top, those are your grades. All right, from 1 to 10. That's your grade. The yellow bar below the grade, that is your rank. Those, That's for your rank. For your blue bars, the grades go from 1 to 10. All right, so I can be an ensign level 10. That's how it goes, all right? You can be a lieutenant commander level 10. That's how it, I think that's how it goes. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Pretty much, instant levels 1 through 10. Lieutenant, uh, I think it's lieutenant. It's from like 11 to 20. 11 to 20. That type of thing. It's intense. The yellow underneath is your rank. To gain grades, you will, when you turn in a quest, when you defeat enemies, you'll earn skill points. When you earn the skill points, you will go up in grade. That goes towards your grade, okay? Now, when you spend the skill points, when you spend a set a number, like to get to a to lieutenant, you need to spend, say, let's just for example say you need to spend 500. I mean, uh, 5,000. You need to spend 5,000 skill points to become your next rank. Cool. I've already earned 3,000, so I've earned 3,000. Uh, so now I need to actually spend 3,000 in order to actually get 2,000 more, and then I'll get to next rank. As I say again, it's really freaking confusing. Friggin. Urgh. It was the one thing I always hated is... Okay, there's multiple things I, I apparently hate. The ground combat, the leveling system. While functional, I like it. Because you don't have to actually rely on... Oh God! I have to spend. I have to gain five hundred thousand experience in order to get to my next level, and then I guess, and then I get one point that I can use towards my uh, towards my spec. It's horrible. In this game, you pretty much you get your skills, and then you have your set number. When, if you want to go up in grades, you need to earn your skill points. In order to go up in rank, you have to spend the skill points. And, like I said, enemies give you skill points. Actually, yeah, uh, enemies give you skill points, and then your... Uh, and, of course, missions give butt-tons of skill points. Now, bridge officers work exactly the same way a little bit. For bridge officers, you have to actually spend their skill points in order to go up a little... Uh, to go up more in grades as well. Just make sure, because yeah. To summarize, players gain grades by earning SP, and to advance to the next rank, you have to spend the set amount of XP. Okay. I'm glad I could, I'm glad I could help with that. Now, bridge officers. Oh. Puts chills in your bones, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, a little freaky. It's pretty cool. It's Admiral Quinn. It's kind of nice. Okay. So. Let me actually talk about the bridge officers a little bit. Oh, I'm now a Starfleet Lieutenant. Looky there. Really? So. It, oh. What? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Ah. Let me actually look at this chart again. Okay, so apparently I'm now a lieutenant, and that's great, I think. Yeah. Cool. So I'm a lieutenant. So apparently all my... Excellent work. Obviously, the exceptional advice and guidance I gave you during this ordeal was key to your success. When you reflect on this incident, I'm sure you'll look upon me as a mentor. Or possibly... Even a father figure. I'm gonna find his delete button. I'm gonna find it. My duties now. Remember all that you've learned, and you will be ready for great things. Good luck, Ensign. You'll never see him again, by the way. You just won't. 
But this right here is the, is the Earth space dock. Awesome. 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 So in order to actually dock, you'll slow down, but you'll just hit the dock button over there, and you'll just dock at the station. Boom. Oh, man. So I really hate the leveling system. I really do. Because you get it gets a little confusing. Because instead of seeing just numbers like, oh, look, I'm level 24. Like, no, I'm lieutenant grade number blah. Yeah. I don't even think I've even spent... Oh, yeah. I've spent 1500 haven't I? Yeah. I did. Like I said, it's the second anniversary, so the space dock is all like this lit up. And really cool. You have this nice little blue arrow thing that was not there before to show you exactly where to go. Also, the, the menus or the arrows to point you in the direction, that's new as well has gotten really defined on where you need to go. There's Admiral Quinn. Okay. Well, since I'm here, let's go ahead and head over to Admiral Quinn and see how he's doing. I forgot what he says. Oh, he just explains everything on the ship, and I don't want to know all that. I just don't. Now, let me talk about voice acting. What you heard from the EMH over there, that was it. This game is not voice acted. It's not as voice acted as Star Wars is. So this is pretty much all you get. You actually have to read, and or as I do, I skim. Because my quest log is going to tell me everything, and I'm not that much of an RP -er or a Trekkie to care what is going on in the universe. Just give me my quest, give me my mission, and I am gone out of here, man. Gone. But he is just telling me now I'm just my own. I am the captain or whatever. The lieutenant to my own ship. I own the SSS Pringles now. And to collect my reward. Let's see what our reward is. If I can scroll down. Yes, I know many people are reading this. Booyah. So, I get my first consoles for engineering. I can get our... Uh, for the science console or for the tactical. I'm a tactical guy, so I think I'm actually going to choose the tactical <laughs> the tactical console. Now your ship will have a tactical, a science, and an engineering console, so remember that. That's uh, important for your ship. Oh, look. I got an accolade. I won something. I have six, six bridge officer points. Cool. All right, so now I'm just really just picking up quests that you, that you guys are gonna be watching for the next video too. So I think I'm actually. I mean, I'm, I have to find some enjoyment for this, and if I don't find enjoyment, then I'm going to stop abruptly, smack myself in the head, probably put my head through a wall, and just call it quits. But. I'm showing this to you guys to make your own decision whether or not you at least want to try it out. This is a free to play game. It's not going to charge you. It's not going to cost you anything to play. If you want to be a gold member and be all this cool stuff, go for it. It's it's pay to play. Go for it. I don't care. But this is a free to play game. I'm playing for free and so far I haven't found any niches where it's going to stop me from being that. Let's go ahead and increase some of this stuff here. Like I said, I love space combat, so I always max out my space stuff first. I guess I can work on this, but... Yeah, see, avail I've, I've gained 4,500 skill points, but I've only spent 2,000. Now I've spent 4,000. And I reached the rank of Lieutenant Commander once I hit 6,700 skill points. And, of course, that number gets larger and larger. In order to get to the rank of commander, I have to spend 18,700 skill points. They rack up. But the highest rank that you can get in-game is a vice admiral. And you are going to have to spend 72,750 skill points. That's spend. Okay. Okay. 
But if you look, all right. So this right here is your is the SSS Pringles. I'm where I'm driving around a light cruiser. So I have two fire weapons, uh, two four weapons. I have one deflector, an impulse, a shield, one aft. My two devices are pretty much like batteries, and it's pretty much health and uh, shield stuff. And then I have one console of each thing. So my impulse is my flight speed, how fast I fly, and how fast I turn. Shield, how much damage my shield can actually absorb, and how long it, before it goes down. So this is really it. This is Star Trek. This is the end of the tutorial. I am think I'm actually going to go finish the tu tutorial things on my quest log to actually talk about the skills, trainer, and changing of clothes. Yeah, we're going to go do these real fast before the video actually ends. Because I think I actually did these. I can't I remember. But while you're walking around, this is your spaceport. This is where you can repair your ship in case it has major damage. This is new because I don't remember ever repairing my ship because once I got done with something, I never had to repair it. But you can repair it there. Malcolm Cecil, he'll start the next quest to actually get the hell out of here. So I don't want to talk to him yet. You can go through there to the shipyard to see the different ships and your different ranks, what you have to be. Uh, when you hit Lieutenant, uh, I'm sorry, when you hit Lieutenant Commander, you get the ship tier, uh, the second tier ship tier, second ship tier, second ship tier. Man, that's like a tongue twister too, isn't it? Okay, so this guy is actually going to tell us what is going on with our points, because I'm confused. Tell me about advancements. All right, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get to the bottom of this right now. And just because you guys don't like to read, I'm gonna say it myself. See, next rank, Lieutenant Two, I have to gain 1,400 skill points. For the next rank, I need to achieve eight more grades in my current rank, and then gain 25,000 skill points. Oh my God! You lied to me, you stupid wiki. You lied to me. <laughs> oh God. In order to advance, you need to train. I mean, officer, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Great. Your dedication will advance through the ranks. Lieutenant, commander, blah, blah, blah. For each rank, there are 10 grades. For each, for example, you may be a lieutenant grade 5. To advance in... I'm, I'm reading too fast. To advance in grade, you will need to gain new abilities. As you advance in rank, you will unlock new ships, items, and locations. So, the higher your rank the more progressive you will become. Um, that's really it. That's all I really want to read from him. Uh, trust me, play the game and try it out. <laughs> At least just try it out, please. Fleet Ambassador, I think that's actually how you create your own fleet. But yeah, your guild, it's a fleet. Now I'm walking through the assembly hall here, and people are talking about me. So if you need a good boost, Walk through there and just listen to the people. Hey, did you hear about Trexlight? Oh my god, he has the largest heart. Yes, that's what the women are talking about. My large heart. It's so big. And then the exchange is uh, the auction house. It's the best way to put it because that's exactly the way it is. Uh, let's see where I'm needing to go. Changing of clothes. That's what I got to talk about. You're changing the clothes is actually right here. Oh, behind you, dude. Behind you. No, not these people. I don't care about the commodities broker. There. To change your clothes. This right here gives you the ability to purchase new clothing. This is actually in-game stuff, I have to say. So, you can hit Taylor. Hit it. There. You can have your basic uniform, another outfit, and then there's a third option for your fleet outfit that you can wear while you're with your fleet or something to show off your fleet, I guess. Now, I'm not part of a fleet yet. I might get there. I'm not really sure. Just depends on how active I really want to be in this game. But you can customize your clothing with that guy. So, that's really it. I thank you all for watching this. There will be more until I get to the point of boredom or Star Wars actually gives me more stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.